just started being a content creator, being a new YouTuber, and you want to learn more about YouTube, you want to learn more how to increase your views, have more subscribers, have more watch hours and the likes, this one is for you. I will be sharing with you five things that we should all learn from Mr. Chinkitan as we sail through our YouTube career. So stay tuned! Hello everyone! Welcome back to Live Thoughts and Inspirations TV. Today's video is all about you YouTubers out there who would want to to grow up your channel, who would want to grow up your watch hours, your viewers, or subscribers, and the likes. I came up with five things that I have learned myself from the very influential Mr. Chinky Tan, and I hope to share it with you. So together, let us review his YouTube channel and learn from him. Um, the very first thing that I've learned from Mr. Chinky Tan is that as a YouTuber, as a content creator, we should be able to have this purpose. Why did we even start um, doing our YouTube channel? Is it to entertain people, to educate people, to make them happy, to make them think, to give them inspiration and the like? So for Mr. Chinky Dan, who started um, his YouTube career back in 2006, uh, let me read it for you. He says in his description about page, my vision is for every Filipino and Iponario. My vision is to help you to become wealthy and debt-free. So if you will be starting your own YouTube channel, it would be best if there's a purpose behind it. Why are you even doing this YouTube thing? Um, well, while some would say, of course, we want to earn something through YouTube, if that's correct, but I still personally believe that there should be a deeper a sense of purpose as to why we are doing YouTube. Okay, the next one is you have to be consistent. When we talk about consistency, it means um, if you are a new YouTuber, you get to be consistent in terms of uploading your videos. Um, it could be once a week. It could be once a month. Or it could be every other day, uh, twice a week, twice a month, month or whatnot. Okay. With searching Kitan, if you look at it, he gets to to upload every day. Okay. With him, he's super consistent. He gets to upload everything every day. Sometimes even twice a day. Okay. There. So you have to be consistent especially if you want to grow your channel. Um, if you are consistent with uploading, those who have subscribed to you will really have something to look forward to because they have they know that you'll be coming up with a particular um, video, for example, every Friday. So that's like, uh, um, how do you call this? That's like a practice for them already to to go to your YouTube channel every Friday because they know there's something out there. And I've also watched in some videos that being consistent in uploading videos will also help you with YouTube algorithm because, of course, that video will circulate and will establish also your standing in YouTube. Okay? The third one is if you come up with the content, your content should be very timely and people can relate to. Okay, again with Mr. Chinkitan, look at this. Um, before, what he used to post is no more of business ideas and some tips on how to improve your careers and the likes. But now, he does that still, but at the same time, related to to quarantine, to end of to lockdown, okay? So one topic here that he says, is, he mentioned about is extended quarantine. Paano magkakaroon ng pera? Right? So very timely. Like, people will be able to relate. Oh no, I need that. Okay? 
the the fourth one is you have to engage your subscribers. Uh, one thing that you can you can do, a lot of my friends from YouTube are doing this, is through live streaming. When you do live streaming, you get to establish your relationship with people, engage them, and get their support. And at the same time, you also get to support them. Uh, with Searching Kitan, what he does is, I think, because he's a, a big channel now, he has um, maybe moderators. So there, uh, maybe he has moderators, but you'd see that Mr. Chinkitan really replies. Look at it. Okay. He replies to every comment that he gets in his vlog, to most of the comments that he gets in his vlog. vlog even if he has already more than 600,000 subscribers. So you have to engage your um, subscribers. In YouTube, if you get to reach 1,000 1, subscribers, you will be entitled to community, okay? And with community, you get to post daily updates, teasers of the things that you will be doing, okay? So make, most, make the most of it. And the last tip that you guys can learn from Mr. Chinky Tan is you have to learn how to collaborate with fellow YouTube creators. Of course, you can't do this on your own, even if you're super talented, you're super skilled, you're super great. But still, no one is an island. So, um, eventually, you try to collaborate with people for contents. Like, with this one, you see, um, he has here, He has here collaboration with some people. Mm. Where is it? There, there's one in collaboration with Mr. Kim Pideleon. Okay, there's something there. And then there's another one with Josiah Go. Okay. Um, even if we think that we're super great already, or you're a big, you are almost there, getting it big, but still, collaboration is a good way to increase your channel in YouTube. Okay, so the first one is you have to have a sense of purpose. Second is you have to be consistent in terms of posting. Third, you have to be timely. Fourth is you have to engage your audience. And the fifth one is... If you need to collaborate, then collaborate. I hope you are able to get some tips from what I've observed, the best practices of Mr. Chinky Tan, and I hope you get to apply it also on your YouTube channels. Until then, don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Bye-bye! Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to your friends. And yes, always remember Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Bye-bye!